In this video, I'm only going to go through how to set up uh, the system for a story problem. I have other videos on how to solve a system using substitution, elimination, a graphing calculator, or matrices. So you can uh, check those out once we have it set up. So here's a typical problem. is a coin problem. And this can be done with two types of coins, three types of coins, heck, even four types of coins, but we'll need, we'd need more information in those cases. Let's say Paul has 30 coins. All of them are dimes or nickels. He has a total of $2.25. How much of each does he have? Well, he has a total of 30 coins. So if we let N be the number of nickels, and D be the number of dimes, then N plus D has to equal 30. So there's our amount equation. Now we're also going to have a value equation, because we know it's $2.25. So the number of nickels times the value of a nickel, 0 0.05, will give us the total amount in nickels. And similarly with dimes, 0.1 times D has to equal our 2.25. Now one thing you could do, because uh, sometimes you know you don't want to deal with decimals, is you can actually multiply through this bottom equation, multiply everything by 100. Because that gets rid of our decimals, and we end up with 5n plus 10d equals 225. And this actually isn't too bad of a system to solve. In fact, let's do it real quick with uh, substitution. So let's solve it for n. So I know that n equals 30 minus d. And I'm going to plug that in for n, hence the substitution. So I have 5 times 30 minus D plus 10D equals 225. I'm going to distribute the 5. So your parentheses are important during substitution. Minus 5D plus 10D equals 225. Negative 5D plus 10D leaves me with just 5D over here. I'm going to subtract 150 off of each side. So subtracting 150 from 225 leaves me 75. So let's just make a note of what we did. We subtracted 150. Last step, number of dimes is going to be 75 over 5, which is 15. Get the number of nickels. It's 30 minus the number of dimes. Or 25. Not 25, sorry. Or 15. So 15 dimes and 15 nickels.